Yep, you got audio. Okay. <sighs> okay. All right, let's get this going. Previously on Alan Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see a white man. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better Nightingale. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, yeah? she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true. And get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Okay. So who the hell is Zane? All I really know of Alan Wake, I learned from Control. Yeah, how about that? And the, the AWE DLC. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. Hmm. Okay, so this Thomas Zane clearly has something to do with all of this. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Yeah, because she knew. She knew that it was all messed up. That whatever Cauldron Lake is, it's not good. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Okay, I'm gonna look around. Why can I not run in the daytime? Would really help. Okay. Nothing here, nothing here. Can I jump? Can't jump. I'm clearly going to end up fighting something here, I think. Okay. I'm exploring. 
I'm exploring before I do this. I am certain there is... If not a manuscript, then possibly a thermos. Ah, it's a thermos! I'm justified! Okay. Come on. That's a noise. This is all crazy. Alright, I'm gonna guess that I probably got the thermos that I needed. Or not. Alright. Thank you for following me, Barry. <sighs> but yeah, this is the third of six chapters, so I'm guessing... The things are about to start really popping off. I mean, even more than they already have. And I'm not happy about that. I mean, not totally. I'm glad that we'll be moving the story along, but... Oh, is that a thermos? Welcome to... to... Oh dear, Mr. Wake, I'm... I'm so glad you're here. With all of the Gross. crazy Not shit you've oh. gone through, oh, yes. her acting like this yes. should be the biggest suspicion come in. that something is wrong. <sighs> hey, this is really good! Rose. Yes? My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry? She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al? Al, what's... Oh. Barry! What? She drugged you. What? You absolute knob! People. Hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Turn the light on. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. No. She no. promises me I can save Alice this way. She's wrong. She knows more of this than I do. About the complex incantation I'm attempting. About this place. 
She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. Also, uh... This girl was clearly obsessed. Rose took a day from me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Cooking with corn. 72 tasty recipes. Jesus. Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. Is she from the Midwest? You're right. Deserve more. Can I talk to so you, you crazy? Handsome. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Oh, manuscript. Oh, a piece of candy. Uh, there's so many manuscripts for this chapter. I very much, unless they are very visible, I am probably Randolph not. Liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick, looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. Oh, no. All right, I'm getting, I'm getting the gist of what's going down here. Okay, I need to go get the car. I mean, I need to go get the car and get Barry to the car. Okay, that stupid boat is in the way. Okay, I can actually jump now. There's a radio. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once, once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts, punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. <laughs> is it just me? Well, perhaps it is. But I hope I can make the night a little bit easier to get through. Caller, you're on KBF FM. Hey, hi, it's Walt Snyder. What's on your mind, Walt? Well, I ain't the way you are, but, well, uh, I can't sleep either, you know? Uh, I've just been staring out the window here, trying to make sense of it all, but, uh, I ain't been drinking either, you know? I just... Well, you sound like a man with a problem, Walt. Something like that, Walt. Yes. Yeah. Well, you know, he's, uh, you know, Daddy's my best friend, and, uh, they let me out on bail today. And now I'm just alone here at the window, you know, waiting. Man. And there's something in the air tonight, man. Uh, I was just outside looking up at the sky above our broadcast tower, thinking the same thing. What are you waiting for, Walt? Everything is weird. Okay. Um, you know, say what you want, but the voice actors for this game really up the ante on making things just really anxious. They 
do a good job. Now, can I find a gun? Please? I would really like to find a gun. Okay, nothing there. Give me a gun! Nope. I mean, I guess I'm pretty safe because I don't have a oh, flashlight. You're gonna get it now. What? God knows what you've done to that poor girl. I didn't do this anything. Is Nightingale, FBI, get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. Hemingway. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Blaine. Wow, you just shot this dude. What the hell is going on? Standing right here, you goddamn maniac! I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Run! I get that I'm... Sp I get that I'm supposed to avoid the flashlights, but... Jesus Christ, run, dude! That's a manuscript page. <sighs> For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the rider on the ferry, it opened its eyes. I did that. That's a manuscript, so I'm gonna go get that. <sighs> Rose didn't know how the strange old lady got in her trailer, and she looked wrong somehow. 
The woman showed her teeth in an approximation of a smile and traced a finger down Rose's cheek. Pretty girl, she said. Rose felt as if she was falling asleep, but her knees didn't buckle. The crone spoke in a whisper, her words ice cold and dark in Rose's ear. Mm, messed up. Okay, I guess let's save our stamina for when I actually have to run from things. It seems I'm pretty okay right now. Anything over here? Nope. Although that did just trigger a save, so maybe I'm not as safe as I thought. Okay. Checkpoint reached. That's a good sign. This Nightingale guy is an asshole. You all kind of did this to yourself. This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. Crashing your cars. <sighs> and if you truly think I'm doing this, why keep sending dudes to me? light on me. Oh, the birds are attacking the helicopters. Well, um, I won't thank say thank you, birds, because I hate you. That's the way I'm supposed to go. So let's go up here. Thermos! Radio? Uh, this is Jane! Mulligan Thornton, come in! Over! Uh, Thornton here. Uh, Jane! <laughs> Got both Wheeler and Rose in custody. <laughs> they didn't put up a fight or anything. But it was. Hey, what, what you, come on! Sit down and give me that. Jane, Mulligan here. Over. Uh, go ahead, Mulligan. Over. Uh, we got Wheeler and Rose here. Wheeler's drunk or hopped up on something. Speaking of which, that fed had a pretty distinctive whiff of eau de scotch about him, if you know what I mean. Over. Uh,. I don't have anything on that, Deputy Mulligan. Over. Well, whatever. Anyway, Rose is just being plain weird here. You better get Doc in to take a look at both. Over. Gotcha. You better get them here quickly. The, uh, Fed's gonna want to interview Wheeler. Over. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet he does. Looks like they have a lot in common. Mulligan out. <laughs> I 
I could see the lights at the radio station in the distance. station. <sighs> That's a big spotlight. And I also see a thermos over there. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Okay. So I'm, that's where I'm going. Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without the light. generator conked out. I'd have to see if I could fix it and try again. Is a powerful light. It literally just killed that fence. <sighs> I should try to bring that with me. Okay, checkpoint reached. That's not a good sign. I hear another helicopter up there somewhere. I think, anyway. Oh! Not, nope. No, no, no. Oh god, okay, I get it, I get it, I got I got ya. I don't have a gun. That'd be nice. Um guns? Anything? Any weapon whatsoever. Would be really, really appreciated. That's a flashlight. Okay. Uh It took me a moment to recognize the flashbang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. I would radio you in a heartbeat if I could. Okay, R1 to throw flashbang. I'd love to. I really would. Fuck, 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 fuck! Right. Oh, that was a good throw. Okay, I need to get out of here. Uh... Wish I knew. Oh shit. So I'm sh 
certain I'm missing a manuscript shit! Okay, there's a light. 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 Ah! Pages, 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 pages. I'm really shocked I haven't found more pages. Wait. Oh, nice. Need those a lot. Okay. Oh, I'm glad I didn't have to use a flashbang on those cop shadows. Oh, there we go. Dodge like this is very stressful. God, I hate you! Okay, fuck you, bitch. God. Nice for you to tell me that cars with their interior lights on can be driven. There's a manuscript page! Rose was lost in a dreamland where everything was drawn in black and gray crayons. The old lady had promised her that all her wishes would come true. She would be Alan Wake's muse. She was smiling so hard it hurt her face. She crushed a bottle full of sleeping pills into the coffee. Deep down inside, she was screaming in terror. Oh, poor girl. Oh, sad. Okay, I'm supposed to go this way. I'm sure I'm missing a whole bunch of stuff. But honestly, this is ah! butts, butts, all the butts. Okay. I don't know why I said butts. It just seemed like the right thing to say. Okay, lights, lights, lights. Okay, it means nothing. That meant nothing. That meant nothing. Am I supposed to go this way? Fuck! God damn it! Oh, god damn it! This is the way the gold dot is. But I'm certain there was a path.
I hope right. Ming could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. God, that was... They just keep putting me in more and more stressful situations. Whew. Mr. Wake. No, why would you oh, do this so to me? You find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. What is with this guy? Is he so drunk he can't remember my name? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. Glad I got that thermos. You wonder why I keep running. What? I had fallen off so many cliffs it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. Nightingale stared through the broken studio window into the dark woods. He turned around, started to walk out, but Maine grabbed his arm. Young man, you almost shot me. You don't shoot off rounds at people like that. What's the matter with you? Nightingale shook his arm free, marched out. His cheeks burned with rage and humiliation. Jesus Christ, this guy's a nutball. Okay. I have flares. And I have flash one flashbang. Save my flashbang, I guess. No idea where to go. All right, that looks like a generator. Revolver. Because fuck you guys. All right, where am I supposed to go? That way? Okay. Um, any more? Any more bullshit? Any more? Any yellow? No? Okay. Fuck. Get it, I'm being chased. Fuck. Come at me, bitch. Oh, yes. There was no sensible reason for the power company <laughs> or lights to be here. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. Oh. Wait, what? about this is this game does this game constantly spawn enemies or is this a a matter of there was no sensible reason for the power company work lights to be here 
It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. Okay, this is a boss fight then. Yep. Glad I saved that flashbang. Shit! Okay, I think that guy was the f final dude. Right, these things only stay on for a short amount of time. Alright, that's another shed. Alright, that's the way I'm supposed to go. I'm seeing a light. Oh, manuscript page. I can read it in the light. Okay. Sarah trusted her gut, and her gut said Agent Nightingale was an asshole. He felt wrong, and it wasn't just the smell of stale booze. It was in the way he flashed his badge, pulled rank, the look in his eyes when he wanted answers. Where was Alan Wake? What was this about an accident? Where was his wife? And most importantly, why did she let Wake go? He wouldn't answer her questions. Federal business was all he'd say. <sighs> if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure Nightingale might be with the, fe the Federal Bureau of Control. I think I remember that. Hello? The most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. It keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. It's something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. Alice, I'm here. I'm so alone all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. Yeah, it's not her, dude. Okay. Yellow paint. Yellow paint's good. Yellow paint is a good sign. <sighs> all right. Yes, give me that sweet, sweet ammo. Batteries? Batteries are even better. Oh, flare gun. Noise. That's for emergency. Emergency reasons.
Great, now I can pick up this ammo I couldn't pick up a minute ago because... Whew. script the pipe wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel framework wrapped in darkness it floated in midair twitching for a moment I didn't understand what I was looking at the heavy object lurched at me with impossible force I threw myself out of the way but just barely when I turned my flashlight on it it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again Great, I'm going to fight a pipe. I could see a railway bridge up ahead, and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. I have a feeling I'm going to need all of the batteries in my arsenal right now. that was pursuing me was growing stronger and it was taking over everything in its back. Flashbang? I don't I have any. I find it's a, a flare gun. There. That's what I have to use. I gotcha. That's why you gave it to me. Okay. Pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. They gave me so many batteries. Good. I think that means nothing else gonna hit me. Okay. I think there's a manuscript page in there. Oh, it's right there. Okay, I thought I saw something. I slammed the door shut right in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left. No guilt either. Not for him. I took a moment to savor the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. Okay, so I'm gonna guess Nightingale's about to die. As a teenager, just starting to get interested in writing, Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. 
I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story, certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer. So now I have a heavy duty flashlight? I'm guessing I need it. There's a thermos. Hmm. Let's get that. That's a flare. Always good. Would be better if it were a flashbang, but we can't. Beggars can't be choosers. Okay, more shotgun. Okay. I'm gonna guess that I'm gonna be attacked as soon as I do this. Oh? Yes. Oh, okay, a flare! Flare for flare flare flare! Flare! Flare for flare! Flare for flare 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 flare! Probably hit these explodable things. That probably would have been a good idea. Well, now I know. Knowing is half the battle. Light, you can hurt them. I am halfway through the game. I think I figured that out by now. That's a radio I can't use. Interesting. First one I've come across. That is a TV I can use. Okay, no thermoses, no... We take the facts of our existence for granted, unaware that they are merely a thin veneer of desperate self-delusion. Well, that's a glitch. A vast cosmos I hope. Of madness and horror. All too often, the stars are right. In night springs. <laughs> Tonight's episode... A family occasion. Journalist Alvin Durlis' trip to study the local customs of an insular community in Night Springs has been less than successful. Until tonight. Zombies? Oh, I'm glad you changed your minds about this. Ancient customs, local mythology. My editor loves this kind of stuff. Well, Mr. Durlis, we don't want to feel like we're on exhibition. But you have demonstrated the seriousness of your intent. Oh, I am serious. Really, just do your thing. I'll stay out of your way and observe. Actually, I thought you could assist us. I'm afraid we are a man short. It would provide you with an intimate perspective. Could I really? Of course. Is this a porn? Well, I guess that's the least I... What would I have to do? Oh, here. Let me show you with a kiss. I, uh, I... <laughs> Please, Nick. 
Sipopa, the dweller in flesh. Your body shall host his thousand years. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, that's the that's my worst fear. Be calm. Shh. Alvin Durlet learned a harsh lesson. If you go looking for mythology, it may come looking for you. And such quests always bear fruit. Night springs. No. Yeah. No, thank you. Ugh. It's the worst. Okay, manuscript. Tell me more. The darkness surged towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet <sighs> leave the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. Well, that's not a good sign. I don't want to go to the lake. Ah! Hey! <sighs> really? Oh. Okay, I'm seeing, uh... Oh, the... I get to fight. Machinery! Fun. Fuck. Fuck. No! Ow. Oh, God damn it. God damn it. Let me go. Let me go. Okay, at least it hurts them too. Oh, God damn it. Okay, I was trying to get to this. Do I really have to fight them first? <sighs> it appears I do. Maybe I would have better luck if I just ran this way. Towards it so that it could come to me. Okay, that's a little better. Double, the double swing is so fucking stupid. Did let it hit me. <sighs> That's my fault. Ugh. Okay, but going this way was a little better. Let's see if I can make that magic happen again. God damn it! No! Go away!
worth it. I got the achievement for defeating the thing before I left the area. Awesome. <sighs> okay. I probably should have tried to convince it to kill these boards. Because I probably could have found something back there. Hopefully not a manuscript page. But it is what it is. Oh, checkpoint, yes. Okay, theoretically I can use that truck. Can I drive it? I'm gonna guess yes. Okay, let's do it. Wait, there was a thing back there, shit. never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. <sighs> okay, the sun's up. That's a good sign. The coal mine wasn't far now. Then again, I'm going into a coal mine, so the sun being up doesn't matter. Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. Okay, that's a metaphor. Was I supposed to use the car to do this? Probably. <sighs> I didn't think about it. I'm not going back now. Please don't tell me it took all my stuff away again. It would appear it did. Anything over there? No. Nope. Whoa! I did say I'm not the best driver.
this is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBF-FM. Folks, I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. You see, I encountered a big shot G-Man with an itchy trigger finger who could use a, a lesson in manners and a boot in the ass. Not necessarily in that order, either. Now, folks, I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but... I'm just so peeved right now, because some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. And I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, let me just say, I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're not the bad guy here. Godspeed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. Now, on a lighter note, I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first, a little music. Alrighty. Probably gonna have to stop this a little early. But I'm hoping I can at least make it to the coal mine before I do. This game is certainly not GTA. These cars handle like dog poop. I'm gonna search this and then I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to jump off. Another radio. We'll listen to this radio and then Welcome back to KBF FM. Hope you enjoyed that too. Now, Doc, you were talking about life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. Well, see, to me, that's strange, because I always pegged you as a hopeless romantic. <laughs> you got me there, Pat. But I think love's where you look for it. And you need to do a lot of looking, sure. But the idea that there's that one special person out there for you, and if you miss that chance, it's gone forever, and you're forever incomplete. I mean, isn't that depressing? <coughs> Childish, even? There's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> and apparently a fisherman has a fishing analogy for everything. But what you're saying, isn't that a little harsh? Well, no. What I am saying is that your potential for finding that connection isn't limited to what's essentially a chance encounter. How is that harsh? Yeah, well, I guess that's a nice thought. But let me say something personal here. Okay. Now, well, I, I don't disagree with you exactly, but... I can't really fit that together with what I feel, what I what I felt for someone, because she was the one, she was. And she, I let her drift away from me. Maybe I didn't put in the work, I don't know, but well, since then, and it, it was a long time ago, but, but since then there hasn't been anyone, not like her. And I'm not saying I dwell on her or haven't moved on. I like my life, I'm not living in the past, but I do miss the way she completed me. You can't argue with the heart, Pat. Uh, I'm sorry, folks. I had kind of a scary experience last night, and let's just say it's shaken a few things loose. Okay. I'm guessing that's it. Alright, uh... I'm hoping that I hit a checkpoint at some point. Um, alright. Maybe I need to get to the coal mine before I hit a checkpoint. Ooh, drifting!
Manuscript. For Mott, spying on the writer on the ferry had been a disappointment. His boss had made Wake Out to be something special, but Mott hadn't been impressed. He'd gotten a good long look up the wife, though, and he liked what he saw. Mott had fantasized about goading Wake into a fight, but it hadn't happened. Still, he'd get his chance to see if the writer had anything in him. He'd been promised as much. The hell? early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. Okay. Um. Any checkpoints, please? Okay, there's a thermos. Does that checkpoint me? No. It doesn't say checkpoint, so I'm not gonna say checkpoint. That's the checkpoint. Good. With Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants Wake for a reason, and it's not for anything good. Alrighty. That is it for right now. Uh, thank you for listening, and I might play more later. We will see. Thank you very much.